Hello everyone, today we continue learning Python and today we'll work with Python Telegram Bot API by creating a bot. So let's start. The first thing you need to do is go to your Telegram and then go to Botfather. So Botfather is a bot created by Telegram which helps us developers create another bots. Okay, and be sure that it has that verified sign near its name. Okay, and the first comment I need to do is slash dot new bot. So new bot simply creates a new bot. And first of all, we should write a name. So as you can see here, uh, we have a name, bot father, and then we have username. So username, it's um, kind of ID, if you know databases, for example. So username should be unique for every user in Telegram and the name can be similar, okay? So for example, I'll write test, it doesn't really matter. And then it says, uh, now let's choose a username. So again, username must be unique. And as you can see, username must end in bot. So for example, Tetris underscore bot. Uh, I will write something like that and underscore bot because again, name should be unique. And I just want that name, okay? So as you can see, it says done, uh, you have a new, your new bot. And then we have a link to our new bot. So let's click on it. And as you can see, test bot. And if you'll go here, username, which is equals to what I wrote, okay? And we can call start, but our bot is not working yet because we have not written any code. Okay, so now I return to my bot father, and as you can see here, use this token to access the HTTP API. HTTP API, it's a thing created by Telegram, which helps us to manage our bots. So for example, to send messages with our bots, to respond to messages and so on. And you can see below that um, some text in red, but I um, blurred it out or replaced it with something, I don't know what I did. And that text, it's your token. So token, it's a unique uh, identifier which helps Telegram understand what bot you're using now. So for example, if I have two bots, the, um, every bot has a unique token. And when I started my, when I start my program, uh, Telegram uh, looks at that token and uses, for example, test bot or another bot, okay? So what we, I want you to do is copy that token and go to your ID. Okay, so now we are in ID and what I will do is create a um, token variable and I'll pass that token in a string. Okay, now let's uh, install our PyTelegram bot API. So I'll open up my terminal and I'll write PyTelegram bot API. So that library which will help us to work with Telegram. Okay, so now we have our library installed and let's import it. So I will import not Telegram, but Telebot. So Telebot, it's uh, an API. Uh, PyTelegram bot API, which helps us to work with HTTP API of Telegram. And interesting idea is that there are lots of libraries for Telegram, but Telebot is the most useful um, one and the most popular one. And I think yeah, everyone uses Telebot, so we will use that. And let's create a new bot, so bot equals telebot.telebot. And one thing we need to provide, now it's our token, so token equals token. Okay, everything works fine. And uh, I forgot to say that your token should be secure and so token should be secured and only you should have access to that token. Okay, so now we created a bot and let's start to, or uh, no, sorry, not server, but our bot. So main.py, I'll start that and let's see, everything works fine. Okay, how we can start our bot now? So now we only created that bot and let's call bot.polling to start that bot. And what we should provide here, it's true. So bot polling uh, function has, has a non-stop argument, which tells our bot if it should stop um, at one point or not. And non-stop equals true means that our bot will work forever. Until of course we have a persistent internet connection and our timeout is not reached. But I won't talk about that way. Uh, in that video, I will create another video about uh, advanced by Telegram bot API. Okay. But now what we need to do is uh, run our program. And as you can see now, my program is not stopping. If I remove bot polling or let's uh, comment it out. What's with my ID today? Okay, let's comment it out. And as you can see, process finished with exit code 0, but with exit code 0. But if I remove um, that comment, from here and my bot will pull forever. So what will happen? As you can see, program is not stopping. So that means that our bot is working. Okay, now what I want to do is create a function which receives a message. Okay, so for example, define, um, let's call message received like that and received like that. Okay, and one argument we should provide here, it's a message. 
So message it, the message from the user. It's obvious, okay? Message and um, another thing I want to introduce. If you want to work with Telegram directly, so for example, your program has a database and uh, some functions which work with that database. So for example, create user function. And if you want um, message received to work with Telegram, what you need to do is provide a decorator. So decorators are special, um, they are not keywords, they are special phenomena in Python, metaprogramming phenomena, which help us to change our functions without changing its code, okay? And if you don't know what decorators are, I will create another video, but yeah. Actually, there are lots of videos and you can watch one of them. And if you want your function to work with Telegram directly, so for example, send message, receive message, send a photo and so on. What you need to do is um, uh, create a decorator, bot, dot, and we have message handler. Message handler, only message handler. The decorator helps us to uh, receive messages from our users. Okay, and now what we'll, we'll do, we'll create a bot, message handler, which receives a message that message and print it out okay and then we will pull forever now let's start our boat and let's move to the telegram okay so now we are in my boat and what i want to do is for example write hello hello uh, goodbye and something like that okay i wrote these messages let's copy them and let's go to our id again okay and as you can see nothing is working so i have these messages but we don't have them in our terminal but as you can see here, we print them. Why? Because when we create a message handler, we should provide content types. So content types, it's a special uh, argument in a function. So content types like that, and it's a list. So actually it's an any iterable. And what we should provide here is some arguments, for example, text, or we have an image here. Image, so if you want your, uh, that function message received to only uh, work with text, um, data. What you can do is content types equals to text and then you can create another function for example photo message received and content types equals to an image. Uh, yeah and it's better to name it image. Okay so now let's restart our boat. Actually I forgot about content types and yeah. Okay so now we are here and as you can see uh, these are my messages and let's copy them and write them. Okay and as you can see now when we provide content types we received a message here and as you can see these messages are very long data and there is not only text in them. Okay, so as you can see, what do we have? Content type, first of all, message ID from user. Uh, we have our own ID, so that's my ID. And yeah, actually, I think I blurred it out again. Is bot false, first name, my first name, my username, and so on. So everything works fine. Now, what we need to do is um, get the text of the message and then um, send the text to a user. So first of all, I will print message, uh, but let's print not the message, but message. Okay, let's leave the just message, it doesn't matter. And then how we can send the message back to the user. We can use both send message. So send message again, sends message. It's easy. Then what I need to provide here is chat ID. So uh, chat ID, which is equals to message dot from user, the user who sent it and its ID. And then you should provide text. So text, uh, you can, uh, okay, text, and we should provide message.text. That's as easy as it seems. And again, message, it's the message we received. From user, it's the user who sends that message. But from user itself has, for example, name, um, your ID, your phone, It's if it's visible to for everyone. And because of that, we use only ID of our from user. And yeah, that's actually how it works. So we created an echo bot, which receives your own message and sends it back to you. Now let's start and let's go to Telegram. Okay, we're on Telegram now and let's, for example, write hello. Okay, and as you can see, our bot uh, sends that message back to us. So let's write, for example, uh, some smiles. So actually, as you can see, everything works fine and you can send not only text, but smiles because actually smiles are just codes in Telegram. So as you can see, when I... Um, put my cursor on here, you can see hard eyes here. So we can write hard eyes and here, as you can see it. So again, actually, uh, smiles are only text. And yeah, everything works fine. If you want, for example, to receive an answer or to send an answer to your question, so for example, print message, if message uh, equals equals exit, what we'll do is exit from zero. So exit from zero means that our uh, Python code will be terminated. 
Then else, uh, or actually a leave message uh, equals equals to hello. We will write bot send message, uh, not message text. Hello, and let's write the name of our user. So hello plus str or not str actually. I think message, uh, and of course we should pro of course we should provide not message but message text. So I forgot about that. Message text and uh, hello message dot from user from uh, user dot username. So now I think everything will work fine. So what we do here, we uh, when we receive a message, we um, check if that message is equal to an exit. And if it is, we simply terminate our Python code. So our bot. If it's equals to hello, we send hello and the name of that user. So let's put white space here. Or else, let's send, uh, so I'll copy that, like that. And we will send text as uh, don't, don't know what to say. Okay, so now I think everything will work fine. And let's test our bot and, and as you can see it says hello and my username, but I'll replace it with something, I don't know, I replaced it, okay? Then what we need to do is um, write, for example, uh, something like that. As you can see, it says, don't know what to say. And let's write exit. And I think now our, our bot is not working. Okay, it's, it's working because polling is equal to true and our bot is threaded, but actually it doesn't matter. So you understand the idea. And yeah, actually that's all. Telegram, it's very, or Telegram API, it's a very cool thing and you can uh, work with it or play with it, what you want. And if you want me to create another video about PyTelegram bot API, but in another video I will talk about advanced topics like edited message or uh, HTML markup and so on. You can leave a comment or suggest an idea of a bot and I will create that. And actually that's all, good luck.